Easy. Okay. Prediction. By Christmas 2021, the UK will still either be in lockdown, some form of lockdown, or a tiered system. Because I honestly believe that they are now looking for reasons to keep this going. We have already seen reports of a South African variant on the virus. There's also a Brazilian one. We know they're going to get here. How long before they tell us that these new strains are more deadly and that the current vaccines that we have are not cutting it and what they'll have to do is lock us all down again until a new vaccine has been developed which will tackle new variants and on and on it will go. The only way to get out of this as well as just standing up is to vote it out. So let me explain. In 2019, people like me, and you watching this probably, will have voted the Conservatives. You may have done so just because you didn't want Labour getting in. Because Jeremy Corbyn was the biggest threat to this country since the Second World War. So why was Jeremy Corbyn a threat? Well, he was a threat because he would have turned the UK into a communist Marxist country. He would have also taken away your freedoms, your rights, bit by bit, gradually replaced it with more government control and a police state. It would have also treated the public purse like the money just drops out of the sky. Oh yeah, that's what we've got now. So quite honestly, will the real Boris Johnson please stand up? I mean... Has him and Jeremy Corbyn decided to try and replicate what they did with John Travolta and Nicolas Cage in the film Face Off? And who we're actually seeing as the Prime Minister is in fact Jeremy Corbyn and not Boris Johnson. So you may be one of these people that uh, votes for small parties like me at local elections. And I have it on intelligence that Nigel Farage's new party, Reform UK is going to make ending lockdown a major policy. All he has to do is include the reversal of the ban on petrol and diesel cars and you watch him sweep the floor. This is now the only way, is to vote somebody in who is prepared to end this shit. Now you may think that, all right, well, if we vote for another a small party, then Labour will get in through the back door, which is what, well, this is the reason why I voted the uh, Conservatives at the last few general elections. But quite frankly, who cares? Because even if Labour do get in, they will probably destroy the economy and leave us in mountains of debt. But that's exactly where we are. So can it really be that much worse, even if they do? It's time to say now, who cares? And we have to vote for somebody... Who is going to end this? Who is going to make it a policy to end this? Otherwise, it'll just continue. You vote Tory, you'll get locked down. You vote Labour, you'll get locked down. And for Keir Starmer to, to, to uh, attack Boris Johnson, to tell him that he was too slow to close the borders, which he was, by the way, he's right on that. But do you actually believe that Labour would close the borders? I mean, come on. That's like having Motorhead without Lemmy. Fucking hell. It's unthinkable to think they would do that. So now what we have to do is to vote out all this lockdown bullshit, which they're going to keep going, just in just to keep it going long enough for them to be able to implement the Great Reset. Got to vote it out now. So take the plunge. Vote for something like Reform UK when it comes out of the next general. And we may have a hope of just... Making the Tories sit up and think that maybe they've taken this shit too far. Thank you for watching. Till next time, easy.